guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in i really really appreciate it today's video is about how i lay down my lace front wig and which gel and holding spray i use i'm sure you guys have all heard about the guts to be glued gel it's like the thing now that people are using to lay down their lace front wigs and people prefer it over glue because it's not technically a glue it's a gel and it's easy to take off so it doesn't cause any damage to your edges um so you know we're all trying to save the edges we don't want to be edgeless so um that's why it's so popular problem is you can't really find it in south africa it's hard to find actually i've tried i've looked i have come across some salons that stock it probably only one that stock it but um yeah i got mine from the us when my mom went i asked her i practically begged her to bring back some for me she brought back five tubes for me i've sold four of them because literally people were begging me to sell it to them that's how this glue is in such demand um and i have one tube left which i use little by little just to make sure i don't run out as well and i also have the spray and i'm not sure if you guys have heard of the spray as well so People are using the two two of these products together to lay down um, lace frontal, lace wig, lace anything. Okay. So because it's so hard to find, I thought to myself, I need to find an alternative product that I can find in South Africa that does the same job. It must exist. I mean, seriously, there are a million of products out there. One must do the same thing as one can. And so I went out and I and I found something. I found the L'Oreal um, Studio Line Extreme Hold Gel Glue. I'm going to zoom it in here for you guys to see. There we go. You can find it at Clicks. It does the same job as that's to be glued. It's clear, it's sticky, uh, and yeah, it's a got to be glued. But only it's not got to be glued, it's L'Oreal. <laughs> anyway, and. Um, in case you're wondering what can replace the holding spray, the Gus to be glued holding spray, I would say any extreme hold spray, but I particularly use the V05 Ultimate Hold Spray, which I also get at Clicks. Uh, okay, anyway, I'll leave the um, product, uh, product um, name in the description box below because this thing doesn't want to focus. But yeah, um, that's what I use. So today's video is really just on how I use these two alternative to got to be glued products to lay down my wig. So if you're interested in seeing how I do that, please continue watching. And before you go, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell next to it to get notified every time I upload a video. So yeah, guys, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm first going to start by brushing back all of my um, edges and just making sure they're out of the way because I'll be applying the glue, the gel uh, over my hairline, okay? So I don't want there to be any hair in between. So um, I'm going to apply some of this around my hairline just to make sure that it's nice and clean as well and all of the hairs are out of the way, okay? I'm going to do this. And the thing about these glues or gels is that for it to for you to really see how well it works you need to let it dry like if i put it here like this and then put on my wig it's not gonna work i have to let it dry and get a bit tacky and only then does it start working so right now i'm brushing back all of my edges but as you can see it's not really staying down but it will once the glue gets dry and i have a hair dryer here to make sure that we don't sit here all day. My hair is usually braided backwards for when I want to wear a lace front wing, but I don't have time to redo my braids right now. So. sort of see my edges are laying down now staying down with 
be pleased like you know okay. I just out of the way I'm gonna wear my cap And then I'm going to apply the first coat. I'm saying coat as if it's painting. Uh, I'm going to apply the first, yeah, coat of um, of the gel here, just in front of my hairline. Okay. That's too much. Don't put too much. It's just like a first coat type of thing. So we just want to put one coat, let it dry or get tacky, and then put another coat. This ensures that the wig actually just properly sits down on your on your hairline. Okay, so we allow that to to dry. I'll dry it. Um, my hair dryer on cold by the way it has to be on cold not on hot um i don't know what happens if you put it on hot but it's on cold you just want to dry it you're not trying to heat it up okay so the first coat is tacky like a bit um it's a little bit dry i'm gonna go ahead and apply a second But because this gel is a little bit, is a little more runny or less thick, what am I saying? Okay, because this gel is thinner, basically, it's, it's more runny than a guts to be glue, which is thicker. I like to put three coats, but it just depends on you. Um, I'm just like, I like to be extra and I like to be sure that my wig is going nowhere. So I put a third coat and then I'll spray it with holding spray. But I'll show you guys now. Secure the back first before I even attempt to do the front. And then you want to make sure that your wig is straight here, so the lace is is flat. It's not folding in. I don't know how to explain it, but just make sure that your your the front is nice. It's gonna lay flat when you pull it. You know what? I'll just show you this. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is place this wig. See, this happens. This is what I'm saying. Make sure you, that doesn't happen and the, the lace is flat. And then just take a red tail comb and 
press it down Don't worry if you've got extra glue like I do on, on your hair, you can always wipe that off. Just make sure that your wig sits properly and then you can, you can do that later. Right. I've done that side and do the other side. Just to make sure that um, the wig doesn't go anywhere, you know, and that it's really nice and glued or gelled down. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this around and leave it for like I don't know, maybe five ten minutes. in with a wet cloth because the downside of doing this um, with makeup on is that um, sometimes it ruins a bit of your makeup so I advise you to do it before you do your makeup um, but yeah I, I just when I decided to do this I already had my makeup on so but, um, if you do have makeup on already what you can do is and, and this actually applies for when you have makeup or not some of the glue will be on your forehead um, and you just need to go in with a wet cloth and wipe out the extra glue and just make your hairline look a bit more natural. So that's what I'm going to do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 